Hi everyone, I'm Silwolf and in these few videos that I'm going to be doing I will be reviewing this new product that's come out, it's Mama Surprise Guinea Pigs. It is part of the Little Live Pets com uh, collection and it's done by Moose Toys. Now I have other Little Live Pets, the mice for example, you can probably see videos of them on my channel somewhere. And I thought, well, I love guinea pigs, I used to breed guinea pigs myself and I thought this was quite a clever idea for a, uh, you know, like a commercial product. Um, so basically I've got a friend called, uh, thanks to Caleb Chung, who's also done a review of this and they inspired me to do mine. So I bought this off Amazon, it was out of stock, so I waited and it came in a couple of weeks. Uh, so it's set to be quite a popular thing, I think, and the idea behind it, because I know how it all works now, is actually really clever. It's simple, but it's very clever and I think that uh, as far as thinking up new ideas and, and stuff, for these things. As far as that's concerned, uh, this one's pretty good. So anyway, I will start. So you've got Mama Surprise guinea pig. So there she is in her hutch as you can see. And it says Mama magically has three babies. When will they arrive? Uh, 20 plus pieces and accessories. And then if we move this around, you can see on the back you've got uh, various other things. Care for her, heart lights up, place in hutch, find baby and surprise. Three babies and surprises included. And you can style your babies, as in they come with accessories. So when they're born they get a little present thing that's full of accessories so you can dress them up. Which, and I'll say this now and get it out of the way, is a terrible idea. Because it encourages kids to treat animals like toys. And uh, as, from what I can see, this product is for perhaps kids who can't have their own pets. You know, it's a safe way of teaching kids responsibility. And the fact that they come out with these presents and you dress them up is just, I don't know what it is with this, this whole thing with dressing animals up. I mean, they're not supposed to wear clothes, they're animals. You know, they have clothes, it's called fur. And I used to breed guinea pigs and it's actually a form of animal cruelty trying to put things on the babies because they're very small and very delicate. And I don't think that that's very good for teaching children, you know, to be responsible. And if they had to have accessories, I think a better idea would be like they come out with, I don't know, a carrot or something. Something to feed them with or to care for them with. Something that a baby guinea pig might require. But that's just me. I mean, different people have different opinions. But I think if they'd have made the accessories a more natural thing uh, to teach kids responsibility, then it would have been better. But anyway. Um, and I know it's just a bit of fun. And yes, they probably won't take it into sort of reality and stuff. But at the end of the day, not all kids are like that. Some of them will probably think that this is what you actually do, okay? And I just think it's pretty poor. And that's my, that's my biggest uh, issue with this thing. But anyway, that's out of the way. So, it shows you a before and after. So you've got before the baby guinea pig's born and after you can put a tiara and a bow on it, which is just terrible. So, the packaging is pretty minimalistic. The whole thing is... Uh, is quite well packaged as far as recycling and things like that are concerned. It also has, if you look on top here, a handle so you can carry it. So let's unpack it. All right, so out of the box, I've just removed the cardboard from around the outside. What it has uh, at the bottom of its cardboard box is some guinea pig bedding, which is just shredded paper and also instructions on how to use it. So we've got the hutch here. Um, so this probably just comes comes off, or do I have to open the door? Let's open the door. So the door is tied up with a cable tie, which is pretty easy to take off. Let's open that, and then this all comes off quite easily as well. There we go. So there's Mama Guinea Pig inside there. She's got something in her fur. I think it's a bit of paper. And she is secured in. She also has a piece of celery which is very securely attached to the door here. I can't get it off. I'm going to tr have trouble with these scissors as well. This is kind of a job for a Stanley knife. There we go. So you've got a celery accessory there. And to get Mama Guinea Pig out, you're basically underneath here is some ties so they're all pretty easy to just undo these are all made of paper so they're quite 
easily recycled. Thinking about the environment with these things. Let's just open them up, turn it back up the right way, and you should be able to lift her out now. There we go. These are wrapped around her feet, as you can see here. I'll just take these off her feet. <coughs> And here she is. So she's got a soft stuffed body and there's, you can feel the plastic there that is her feet or where the feet and that are moulded in um, in the back end and the head is hard as well. She's got a cute little face and she's I think she's modelled on the American crested guinea pig because they've got a little white crest on their heads and she's got a fluffy body. She actually looks like the first guinea pig that I had called Star. So I think I'll call her Star. Star never had babies. Um, uh, we bred Peaches, which was her friend. And um, then some Abyssinian guinea pigs. And that's how the whole breeding thing started. I bred guinea pigs for a long time, actually. It looks like she's got a button there. That's probably for her celery. And then underneath, you can see, that's where her batteries go. Now, before I go on... This is the whole thing. It takes six AAA batteries, not double A's, AAA batteries. I had to raid my boyfriend's batteries downstairs um, to actually sort of get enough batteries. It's lucky that I did. So they're not double A's, they're not the commonest ones, they are the AAA batteries. And I like how her feet are sort of detailed. Not quite sure what they seem to have given her paw pads, but uh, it might just be foot details. Uh, interestingly, guinea pigs have four little toes on the front feet. They only have three on the back, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's just a fact for you. So we've got her, and then at the very back, there's a little brush. And that was easy to get out. A little brush for her. There, it's got LLP on it for little live pets. So the next thing we're going to do is put the batteries in her. And I think the hutch needs batteries as well. So let's just cut open this bag here that has the bedding in and we'll get out the instructions. So here are the instructions. Right, so just need to find out where the batteries go. And these instructions are in a million different languages because that's how it is in the UK. Um, batteries not included. So the batteries go into the hutch and they also go into the guinea pig as well. So we will put the batteries in both. So for the record, the batteries in the hutch go in here. So if you lift this bit up, you can see where the screw is that you can open it with and the batteries go in there. I think the design of it is all really good. It's quite you know that they're all quite well hidden and stuff instead of putting it in the bottom it goes in the top um, and I think that's pretty neat because it all blends in quite well with the plastic wood that is on top of the hutch so the batteries are in both things now um, I haven't put the bedding in there just yet so I have seen a video review of this so the babies um, if you're in normal mode, so this is the speed that the babies will arrive, okay? So in normal mode, it's 15 minutes for the first one, for the second one, 10 hours overnight, and for the third one, 10 hours overnight. The idea is that um, you make the guinea pig happy by caring for it, and its heart lights up, you put it in the hutch, and leave it in the hutch overnight, and in the morning, you find that it's had a baby, which I think is really, really neat. Um, the fast mode is 10 minutes for every baby. So if you want to get the birthing process over and done with, it's just 10 minutes for every baby. So, also the timing is pretty accurate as well. It, it will actually take the 10 hours or the 10 minutes, whichever is, is uh, chosen. So you care for the mama guinea pig by feeding her and petting her. She's got a, a pet sensor on her head and you feed her with the uh, celery. And then you've got the brush there that doesn't really do much other than to brush her hair. It doesn't help the happiness thing. Um, it says you can brush her hair using the hairbrush but I don't think it make, makes much difference because the sensor is on her head 
and in her mouth there doesn't appear to be a sensor on her back but we will see if you pet and feed her enough her heart will glow and she'll make a ready sound to indicate it's time to return to the hutch place her in the hutch and ensure the top cover and both front doors are completely closed now the reason for this I'll explain in another video because the technology behind this is quite clever um, if you cared for her correctly a small heart will light up above the front doors of the hutch and begin to pulse right so when you put her in the hutch you have to put her in the middle of the hutch don't cover her head with the bedding or anything like that because that will hinder the magic so um, you just put her in the hutch in the middle and you wait and a baby guinea pig will appear and there is a setting on the back here if you want the guinea pigs to come faster or just normal time so at the moment it's off so we'll switch over to normal for the first guinea pig actually no thinking about it I want to get the guinea pigs out fast uh, I'm not going to leave it overnight but like I said it will take 10 hours there is the timer on it is very clever so it will take 10 hours so I'm going to switch it to fast I don't know what happens if you just leave it on off maybe she just doesn't have the babies uh, so you have to switch it over um, so that's setting your hutch place set do not open the doors or remove mama guinea pig while she is inside the hutch place set indicating her light is gent with the indicator light gently pulsing doing so may delay the process of revealing her baby guinea pigs so if you do take her out or anything like that I think the timer just stops it may stop completely and just cancel the whole thing out or it may continue when you put her back in but I don't think so I think it just you've got to start from the beginning again uh, because you really have to leave her in the hutch and not sort of you know touch her while this is all going on and the nice thing about this is you can actually load the guinea pigs back in the hutch the baby guinea pigs and repeat it all over again so it's not like Hatchimals the first Hatchimals that came along they hatched once and that was that this one you can actually put the guinea pigs back inside and start the process all over again if you want to you know like start the magic and have, a, have another litter or something you know so that's quite um, quite clever anyway let's get on with it okay so she's got an on off switch underneath so we'll switch her on and she makes little noises and the, some of the sounds she makes are quite similar to the uh, little mice that I have by the same company. Little live pets mice. I'll grab her settler in, give her something to eat. <laughs> it is quite cute, but it's also a bit bizarre because it makes... <laughs> they're not very realistic sounds really it's kind of like a stylized um, guinea pig noise give her a little brush I'm not sure as the brush actually does anything like I said but make her fur look nice and it doesn't take very long before her heart lights up so. more celery the celery thing is just uh, it's just like a little button in our mouth so you could just put your finger in there oh there we go that means she's ready to have a baby and she'll keep on making that sound until you put her in her hutch so into our hutch she goes in the middle there close the door let's just turn her a little bit there we go see the little heart that's lit up on the hutch that means that everything has worked and the timer has begun for her to have a baby guinea pig so I'm going to um, come back in 10 minutes and you can see that she has had a baby guinea pig. I'll see if I can catch the whole thing um, with the guinea pig dropping down as well because they do actually drop down from one end of the hutch. Um, 
and you can see that too. Okay, so nearly 10 minutes has gone past. You can see there, there's a little hatch in the top of the hutch. This is where the babies come out. And I'm just uh, putting the camera on it for a bit so that, uh, so that you'll be able to see the baby come out in the back of the hutch. Now, um, I did look at the instructions, and if you remove the mama guinea pig while her heart is still pulsing, you can put her back in. It will just pause the process. It won't cancel it. So if you do everything quick enough, I think it will just pause the process, which is good, because um, if you cancelled it, it wouldn't take much to get her interested in having a baby again, but at the same time, it would be a bit annoying. So, yeah, you can actually take her out and, and put her back in. It's not really recommended, but it just pauses it. So that answers that question. So I, I uh, sort of did this whole thing at like one minute past ten. It's now eight minutes past ten. So I'm just going to put the camera up close like that. And uh, you'll be able to see when the baby comes out. Because this is how baby guinea pigs are born, folks. They pop out of the ceiling of the hutch. No, I'm kidding. I actually still think this is a really clever idea. And if the kid's young enough, they'll think that the mum's actually having baby guinea pigs, which is pretty cute, to be fair. Also, the mum guinea pig did actually go to sleep in the end. She carried on making a few, like, sing-song noises, and then she just started snoring. And uh, she, just, she just went to sleep. So her heart has gone out as well, so I don't know whether the... I think once the heart on the guinea pig's gone out, the, the pause thing won't work anymore. But her heart has gone out, so I assume she's gone into standby mode. Here we go. And it's just that quick. The little hatch opens and something drops out. So I'll put the camera back on the tripod. There we go. And let's just see what's come out. So, moving mum aside, we've got a baby guinea pig, isn't he cute? And he is also covered in fur. He's got a little plastic sort of feet and tummy, a little plastic head, and he's fluffy. And what comes with him is a little package. So, oh, I'm crouching down here. This is really killing my feet. Let's have a look in the package. So it's a little cardboard package, so let's just open it up. And inside we have, you can see what I'm doing here, a pair of sunglasses. And you can actually kind of see through them a little bit, so that's quite neat. And it's a little hair clip, shaped like a lightning bolt. And what else have we got? Two tiny elastic bands. I guess that's if you want to give him a ponytail or something, although his fur is very short, so it might be quite difficult. Probably better for the mum guinea pig than him. And then we've got the last thing is this little birth certificate. So open this one out. And that's what it looks like. So it's Mama Surprise Guinea Pigs. So you can write his name when he was born and, I don't know, some fun fact about him. I guess. <laughs> there's nothing on the back it's just that so let me tell you a little bit about the baby guinea pigs the baby guinea pigs obviously there's three of them and these are what they are Let's see if I can find it on here here we go right so this is what all the baby guinea pigs are you've got a princess baby a preppy baby and a rock and roll baby the rock and roll baby is the one that's been born right now which is good for me because that's probably my favorite with the princess baby you get a princess tiara and a princess hair clip so you get a head accessory and a hair accessory for everyone. The preppy baby has preppy glasses and a preppy hair clip. And the rock and roll one has rock and roll sunglasses and a rock and roll hair clip. And each one comes with its own certificate. So, just standing back up again. When you put his sunglasses on, he's got little notches there. I'm not even, I'm not even near the camera. Oh, it's been a long day. Um, and it's only just begun. You put his little sunglasses like that and the little notches behind his ear hold them on. And as for this, um, 
um, you get like a piece of his fur like that and you can clip that one in and he's got his little lightning bolt there as for the tiny little elastic bands that have come with them I'm guessing like I said they're probably just for tying up the guinea pig's fur or giving it like a ponytail they're very small though so it's it's quite difficult to kind of do that um, unless you have very tiny fingers and let's face it kids do so probably unless they accidentally swallow them or lose them which hopefully they won't so that's the first little baby let's move that one down there so mama has done her job she's also now in sleep mode so none of this is working so I'll switch her off and the last thing that I'm going to do in this video is let's just put the, the bedding in because she's supposed to have the bedding in so let's see how much bedding there is there we go and because it's shredded paper it all stays in one kind of thing so that you can get you can get it in and out pretty easily without the paper going everywhere so there's mum and her little baby both in the hutch together so that's the end of this first video I hope you've enjoyed it so far uh, I think that it's a very neat little place there. it's uh, certainly well thought out and it's something a bit different and I can see why it's so popular like I said Amazon sold out it took me ages to get my one because they were sold out so I will be doing more videos of this and if you uh, want to check out different videos you can click either of the boxes that come up below if you want to check out my Etsy and New Monday stores also check in the description because the links are there I do plushies and artwork and customs um, or you can buy me a coffee on Kofi if you enjoy what I do all the tips help and that's all for this video. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep being awesome. This is Silver signing off.